feel of a sweet chain of the silence. Mm. Those parts are too stupid to breathe and walk at the same time. Which is why Lester can penetrate them repeatedly in the chest with his sword. Ah, see? I missed the button that time and ended up getting hit. They're still lower on the food chain than Lester. Which is kinda hard to do, but... I think even the fucking... Crabs pick on the pirates. They are so low on the totem pole of existence that... The crabs pick on them. The beings that just wiggle back and... Oh, shit. She thought that that's what was hiding behind the flagpole thing. She is pirates. Fuck the she is pirates. Okay, my playing is going to probably go downhill a little bit here, but damn. Blah. I love the way it's like two pixels. Ah, die you asshole. Two pixels of that mountain there sticking up above what I can see. The really funny thing about those pirates is if you judge wrong where they're going to be, they will kick your ass. Mm, mm. Like if you stop too soon, mm, mm. they will kick your ass and call you Sally. Which has nothing to do with getting your ass kicked, but it sounded good, so fuck you. Mm, mm. I'm going to say it because I've been a while. It's been a while, rather, since I saved. Now there's a health clip over here. With another pink fire. <laughs> Fuck you, Lester. He walked into that shit. That's the one thing that really pisses me off about Lester. Is he'll pause for stupid things. What the fuck? Do you see that? Where'd that pirate come from? Let's go, pink old pirate. Oh, he didn't like that, did ya? Like that either, did you? These pirates are annoying. Oh, sweet, of whatever those things are that give them health back. I'm kind of amused by the fact that the development company didn't use like standard items, like hearts or red bars or something. Okay, unfortunately I don't think I'm going to be able to drink anymore tonight. The screen is kind of going double. Mm, mm. Yet I'm still able to kill the fucking pirates. Mm, mm. And they still like it. They're grunting like fuck. Now this is the end of the game. Thankfully. What do you think you have to do with this cannon? 
Do you think you'd fire it here to make a special exit for you or something? Nope. You gotta push it all the way back to the beginning. Damn it, eyes focus. Anyways, this is the only torch I know what to do with in this game. The other blue purpley sort of torch I have? Next oh, I can mm. go right past it. The other torch didn't actually do anything. Mm. Now if I recall right through my alcohol addled brain, I picked this up. Pick oh. that up. And because the triple X bar there means alcohol. I go all the fucking way over, no, no, run. I go all the way over here. I fill up my ladle. You'll see why in a minute, but you won't believe it. Oh, boy, I'm so drunk right now. Okay, now we dump some water on the thing, and then Dr. Tika introduced me to the brave young man who rescued me from these pirates. Father, this is Lester the Un- I mean Lester the Invincible. I'm pleased to meet you, sir, but you know I'd really like to get back home. Well, rather than blah blah blah, you can leave, can't you? If not, what the fuck are you doing on the internet? I'll think of something. First, let's return to the village and have a proper celebration. On behalf of the whole island, blah blah blah. See where they search for it. There's that fucking face of the monkey on the surfboard. Duke Kanahanamoku himself gave to him another such as the kid. Hey, that's everybody. The hell this can be hope. <sighs> Enter new sex machine. What the heck was that? Just an atomic test on nearby Bikini Atoll. We're safe, the design the waves sure are a nuisance though. Now, just to stop for a second here, but... If they're near Bikini Atoll, they should be in contact with some sort of destroyer or something from the American Coast Guard. I mean, when you drop an atomic bomb as a test, it's not just for like one plane operation. You have boats and ships standing by. Anyways, hey, I know you can you can paddle out and catch one of those waves home. So long. And here comes the best part. Now what happened, Lester? Then this gigantic hairy spider. See, the rage spider was so important that I mention in the end. I'm gonna fast forward. Notice the guy whose name is Householder there. For DTMC, producer is Matt Householder. He sucks cocks in hell. Blah, blah, blah. Heather Hook, by the way, the hot chick who played Tiki, never starred in anything else. Which means that people probably knew that she starred in this. For Lisa Jan and Liz Wolf, or with love, thanks for playing Lester the Unlikely. Watch for Lester, he will be back. Fuck, he better not be. 